Hi everyone, this is Karen Greenhouse and today I'm just going to do some quick um, engineering calculations that if you were not aware the ClassWiz solar powered scientific calculator or the FX991EX is capable of doing many things but I've just been exploring some of the engineering calculations um, that it's doing. So as with most of Casio's calculators, we've got this menu of items. So you see it does quite a few things. It has a much bigger uh, screen than most scientific calculators. And if you didn't already know this, let me just get here. It does natural display, which I love for fractions, um, mixed numbers, whatever. So I can actually see a fraction, a rational number that looks like a fraction, and I can do calculations with it. I can make mixed numbers. Um, so let's just do a quick one here and then when I hit equals my answer is also in fractions but then I can change that to an improper fraction or even a decimal so uh, this is one of the powers of this calculator um, but what we're really going to focus on today uh, is some of the in engineering capabilities engineering calculated calculations so one thing is it can convert units so I know in the U.S. schools, we um, use the standard measures, you know, inches, uh, feet, and a lot of times students are asked to convert into the metric system, which is, as we know, not a nice conversion. So this um, calculator will allow you to do that. So what we're going to do is, if you notice above the 8 here is this CONV, which means it's a conversion and it's an 8. So let's say we have... Um, 500 and I want inches right so I want to convert inches to some centimeters so I'm going to need this conversion so I'm going to hit the shift conversion and I can choose area volume you can even go down into velocity pressure energy power so lots of different things I can do here but we're working with length right now so I'm going to choose one so you'll see all the different conversions that I can do mild kilometers mild meters lots of different things so I'm going to choose this first one up here inches to centimeters so when I hit one it puts in the label so 500 inches I want convert to centimeters when I hit um, the answer there is my solution. So 500 inches is equivalent to 1,270 centimeters. So conversions are something that um, this calculator can do, which is really exciting. And related to this unit idea, we can also um, calculate with units and it will convert them correctly. So in order to do that, I need to actually turn on the engineering symbols. So I'm going to go I'm going to clear this out. I'm going to go into my setup, so shift setup, and I want to turn on the engineering symbols. So those, uh, so I'm going to turn on. It doesn't look like anything happened, but now let's do um, a, a, an addition where I have to add, uh, let's say, kilometers and meters, and let's see what. So let's say I have, uh, let's just make up something here, 650 kilometers, but I want to get that kilometer in there, so I need to turn on my engineering symbol so I hit options and I hit three and now I can choose so let's let's choose six here all right so now it's put that symbol in there now the calculator knows that that's actually an engineering amount and then I'm going to add to that I don't know let's say 20 and let's hit option again and symbols again and let's do seven meters so now I'm going to add these two different um, uh, amounts, different symbols, and it's going to add them and convert them to the most appropriate unit. So let's hit equals, and there I have um, 20.65 meters. Now, another thing that's nice is, so I've got in meters, this is metric, it will also convert for me. So if I click this button here called engineering, it's going to change it to the different conversions. So if I, it's going to keep getting bigger until it can't get any bigger. And if I hit shift first, it goes in the other direction. So this is great when you are working with students and, and thinking about uh, the metric system and moving that place value. You can get really small here. We can keep going. So this is just a really powerful uh, calculator uh, that can do a lot of things that I was uh, kind of excited to find. So another thing that you can do is scientific notation, which you sort of already 
already saw there. So what I want to do is kind of the same thing. So we're going to start with, um, so one thing we're going to do is go into setup and we are going to go, make sure I'm just in the right place here, my digit separator. So I'm going to turn this on. You'll see why in a minute. Okay. And now let's clear out this problem and let's start with a, with a simple problem in scientific notation. So 2.5 times and notice down here I have a button that actually puts my scientific notation right up there for me and now I just need to enter my let's let's say to the to the ninth so this is 2.5 times 10 to the ninth and I'm gonna hit equal so there it is but now when I go to my oops English right here. It's going to kind of do the same thing we were doing before. It's going to separate them out. And notice that it is separating place values here. So if I keep going, I'm seeing the digits being separated by their place value. So again, a really powerful tool uh, for students when you're working with some engineering calculations. Um, we will do a little more exploring with this calculator later, um, but just wanted to show that to you real quick.